Hello, this is the Roach with the Rocha, and we are back for another episode of Stardew Valley. We are on the 8th of summer. It is a Monday, and we are ready to start. So, um, we may get glare by the end of the episode. We'll try to do two days, um, like usual. We do have the scarecrow that we need to make sure that we get in today. Hopefully we don't have any crows killing our crops. We do not have a quest on the Hill Wanted board. Um, we do. We have Gus's birthday. What does Gus like? Gus is a pretty easy going guy. He likes cauliflower, death deals. Uh, we'll probably get him a death deal or sweet pea. Um, green beans, potatoes. So vegetables, frozen tear, but yeah, probably a daffodil or a sweet pea. We have plenty of each of those, I think. So we should be able to just get him one of those. All right, and let's see, is there anything else that we need to look at before we head out? I don't think so. We've got a little bit of watering to do, I'm sure. Uh, actually, we've got a lot of watering to do, I'm sure. Uh, it's going to be a lot of watering for the next little while. We need to make sure that we try and get up to the mines and get down to the gold so that we can get the sprinklers and end our watering fiasco. But it is going to be a little bit of watering to get that things done. Um, Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day, as usual. Okay, so we need a fortune teller. Welcome back to Welwick Sporkle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Would we expect anything less? All right, and we got some living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Let's talk corn. It's an unusual crop because it lasts for two seasons. That's right. While most crops die when the season changes, corn lives on. You can grow it in both summer and fall. Now get out there and plant some corn. I would plant more corn, but it is not a very good crop as far as profit-wise. So I don't. We lost $356 because we passed out last night. And that was because we were trying to get everything watered and we just didn't quite get there. But that's okay. We'll try again today. Um, someone dropped you off at the clinic last night. You passed out from exhaustion. You've got to take better care of yourself and go to bed at a reasonable hour. I've built you 356 gold to cover your medical expenses, Dr. Harvey. Okay, Dr. Harvey. We'll be alright with that, I guess. Um, is this stuff good? Oh, yeah, we got the radishes. Okay, so we got all of our radishes done. Now, we've got to decide what we're planting here. And I'm sure that we have, so it's 200, and we want to make sure that we ship plenty of it, but let's see, we, do we have any, okay, we don't need any for the community center, so we should easily be able to ship all the ones we need to ship. I will want to keep on, keep hold of some, but let's see, we are going to sell the gold ones. Yes, we're going to sell the gold ones. We're going to sell the silver ones. And that was seven. Okay, that is perfect. So let's see, we had 17 of the regular ones. So we had more than, what did we have, like 24 radishes? That's pretty good. Um, and we sold the seven plus we sold five. So that would be um, seven and seven is 14 and then five more is 19. So we sold plenty of radishes. Nice. 
Okay, and they are vegetables, so we need to put them... Well, I guess we're putting all of stuff in there, right? Okay, so we can put in the red cabbage. So we'll put that in. We're going to put the sunflowers in. Um, we could do the melons, but I just don't want to. So the rest we'll buy stuff for. We could put both of these actually in, but I don't want to. So we're going to hold off on that. Let's see what else we got. Alright, so we're going to put the radishes in here that we saved. Oh, we've only got four peppers. Oh, we'll get more, plenty, more of them. Plenty more of them. Um, strawberries, well, we've got to give Maru one here in a little while, and then those are good ones for getting Maru and Demetrius up, but we probably will need to plant these in the greenhouse anyway, so turn them into seeds and then plant them in the greenhouse. So we'll be all right with that. And let's see, do we have any? That's kind of a side issue, but anyway. Okay, so we will plant these three, but then we're also gonna need to get some stuff at the store. So, um, are we ready to go then? Let's take a look in all of our chests here. Oh, and then we need to get um, a, we'll take a sweet pea, gold sweet pea for Gus today. And we need to go put that scarecrow in. We need to get some those things planted. We need to get all the watering done we can. Okay, we need to, we don't necessarily need to shed trees, but we do need to water the cat. So there you go, Kylo, you've got some water. Um, I'm going to get these seeds out because we don't want them growing in there. It's not particularly, um, I'm not fond of this one growing either, so we'll take it out. Okay, I'd rather have the seeds actually. Alright, so the scarecrow. Now, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it shoots all the way out to there. So these ones, so we got one, two, three, four. So let's see. One, two, three, four. So we can put it in this line. And we want it right there. I want it right where that stump is. Okay, and we don't have our axe with us, do we? No. Nope. Okay. Um, let's put the, let's put this down there and we'll put these here and here. Okay. Then we just have to do the, uh, 16 and five. So 16 and five would be 21. Yeah. 21. Okay. So let's get this watering can out. Alright, so we are good with the width there. We're going to go and get our axe and get rid of that stump so that we can put that in. I'm going to water these melons first. I'm just trying to get the um, odd ones so that we can see what we got. So I'll go down here, get the rest of these melons. Okay, get these. Alright, and then we'll get up here for this. I want to make sure that my blueberries are watered and my ancient fruit. Tomatoes aren't as important, but we'll get them watered too. 
So I'm just wanting to make sure that we water this side of the crops. Oh, we got some uh, coffee beans. We might ought to plant the coffee beans, actually. Yeah, you know what? Getting more coffee beans would be a good deal. How long do they take to grow, though? Um, okay, I don't know. Okay, harvest after 10 days, then every two days. Grows in spring and summer. So if with the 8th, then it would harvest on the 18th, and then on the 20th, 22nd, 24th. So yeah, we probably should plant them. We will plant them. In fact, I'll plant them over there on that 5. Too bad we only got 4, though. Okay, so we should also have some more in two days. So we should be able to get more of those. And get them planted and get some good product from them. We want to make sure that we spread those coffee beans as much as we can. Get them going. So yeah, so we can go one whole more length out. Yeah, I'm just gonna fill up there, and then we're gonna go up here. We're kind of we're low on stuff, so we're gonna go up and oh, we need to get the axe. Let's drop these off. Uh, that. We don't need for the community center. So I'm gonna to toss it in here. Um we ought to let's see. I'm gonna throw this in the Oh, I don't have anything in the furnace. Anything for furnace here. Let's uh, take all of that with us to the mines. Okay, and we need the axe. We don't need the. Well, I do. I am going to need the watering can. I'm going to need a lot of watering cans still. But we're going to kind of have to come back with pretty much full energy, is the deal. Or mostly full energy, at least. Um. Let's see. So, yeah, let's go get that. We'll go get the scarecrow in, and then that's going to take most of our energy just to get rid of this stump. And then we'll stick the scarecrow there, and that should cover it. One, two, three, four five six seven so yeah it should cover it should get it and this one we should be able to move down a whole nother a whole three more fairly easily actually and so let's see we'll kick out the watering can what is our energy at 13 and Kick that out, kick that out, move that over, move that over, and those can stay in there where they're at. The sap goes in here. You can take that. The sturgeon and the bullhead are supposed to go, oh no, the sturgeon is supposed to go to the luau, so we need to keep it for the luau. But the bullhead, we need to take to the community center. Uh, the chub can go to the community center too, right? Yep. And I think that's all we've got for the community center right now. For the pantry, we don't have any of the other stuff that we need, I don't think. 
We definitely need to get down in those mine stocks. Okay, so a lot of our money is going to come from our harvesting of the crops. So that's why one one of the reasons why we need to make sure that we get crops watered. Oh, and we got some forageables here. Let's go ahead and grab them. Carry a skull over our head for some reason. All right, we'll go over here to the sword. That's better to hold on to right now. All right, grab this sweet pea. Okay, so we may not be able to get to the mines actually, or get any mining then, which is sad. I found some wild fruit. Okay, she found some wild fruit. Now we need to go here. We need to um, get more crops. So um, peppers are usually my go-to for what we get to plant in place of things that are finished. And I think that's what we're going to do right now. We usually end up with a pretty good and sizable pepper crop which I like so yeah I think that's where we're gonna go I think that's what we need is peppers we could do blueberries but blueberries were already late in the season and they're fairly expensive I'd rather not go with blueberries right now but we needed at least 21 um, I'm going to go ahead and get 30 and that's just so we have a few extras so there we go we got Pierre's done now we need the museum and we need to visit Gus and give him his present for his birthday So we can get all kinds of kudo points with him. There we go. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Okay, so that should shoot Gus right on up there. Yeah, see, got two hearts with him now. It's not bad. Okay, and yeah, we have five hearts with the ladies, all except for Maru and Penny, apparently. Um, we could easily get them to five hearts though, I think. I don't think it would be very hard, but it would take doing the gifts and stuff with them and it's just hard to get out there and get it done. Oh, we can at least go and say hi to Maru right now. Hmm, what sort of gadget would I tinker with this summer? Should I tinker with this summer? Um, I don't know. You could make your... Uh, that's probably a choice you should make actually. I shouldn't be making that choice for you. All right, so we're gonna get this, and we didn't get Lewis's garbage, but that's okay. We will skip it for today. Right now, we kind of just want to get this to the museum. We're gonna stick it down here. It's the head, so we'll stick it over that side. And that's all we got there. And let's see. Do we have? The cockle. We were gonna look into these and I didn't look into them near as much as I probably should. Okay, so we got wood there, we got that stuff there. Okay. Crafting room, fish tank. So the crab pot bundle we do need a cockle still. Which may wait until we actually get across the across to the other side you can put sometimes find cockles there and that was what I had to do in my other farm is I had to finish that bridge in order to get over and get my cockle so oh we got that though and what else did we get Gunther and he's already got one of those 
So that's all right. Hi, Jazz. Oh, are you looking for Aunt Marnie? No, I'm not looking for her. I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. Okay. That's cool. Your brother's pretty cool, dude. Alright, let's head on up. Uh, we could go get the starfish to Gunther, I guess. It's not exactly on the way, but it's close enough to on the way that we might as well do it. Since we got it, I don't think we're going to get to the mines or get anywhere in the mines. But that's what we... That's the way we have to do it, I guess. Okay, so there we go. There you go, Gunther. Yeah, I've got a little bit more. Alright, and let's head on up. Might as well get these garbages while we're uh, on our way up. And, oh, we just got trash. That's not very exciting. Okay, so let's see what we have. We need to go to the community center real quick. There is Sam. Um, oh, Penny's on her bench over there. Well, it's on the bench, I guess, because both Penny and Maru end up on it. Okay, we'll go to the bill bulletin board first for the chub. To put the chub in. And then we need to go to the fish tank for the bullhead. Alright, let's see. We are in Lake Fish. Lake Fish for the bullhead. Yeah, we need the sturgeon and we need the largemouth bass. And I think the largemouth bass we can get. Yeah, we can get any season. The sturgeon is more of a summer winter fish, or it is a summer winter fish. And we had the struggles of getting the one that we got for gold quality. So we're probably going to do some more fishing at some point this summer. I just don't know when. And we'll try and get it as morning fishing. But we do need to get a lot of... A lot of uh, um, a lot of gold before we can get to that. So let's go say hi to Penny. Hello, Mr. Roach. It's nice to see you're doing well. Oh, thank you. Um, I think I can give you one of these. Yeah, we'll give you one of these. Thank you. This looks special. You are welcome, honey. All right. So let's go up. We need to go to, oh, hi. Hi, Abigail. My pet pig, guinea pig, David, just hates this hot weather. He's fussy. Oh, okay. You've got a fussy guinea pig. Hi, hi, Robin. So many people. Actually, very few people, I mean, this is a town with less than 30 people in their population. That's uh, pretty low. Alright, so let's get some energy, and then I guess we're going to just have to go back down and water. Not exciting, but necessary. I wish we could get farther down in the mines, but it's just, we don't just don't have the time right now. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get everything watered and get to bed on time. That way we don't have to worry about energy penalties. And that would be good. Alright, so we're getting closer. Got to get it all the way up to 70. Because we have a lot of watering to do. There we go. I jumped the gun a little bit there at first. All right, let's go get our pants back on and head on down. All right. So now we'll head back to the farm. I'm gonna, you know what, since we're here, I want to 
basically clear this area out. We don't have the greatest of luck, but I don't know as if that matters much for mixed seeds. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear this mess of a place out. So I'm saving mixed seeds for fall because then I get a chance at the artichoke. And the artichoke, you need, you want to get as many of those as you can. We will probably save some of the artichokes that we get so that we can um, turn them into seeds and plant them in the greenhouse so that we can get them that way or maybe even a second crop of them during the fall. So we got that done. We'll head down here. We'll go to the shipping bin first, I think. Actually, we'll go to this the chests up here first. Because I have some forageables and I just want to see we need that and we need one of those. Oh no, we don't need one of those. But we can put that one up and we can put that grape up. And then we'll sort. Okay, so we can get 10 more of those seeds. Do we want to plant 10 more of those? And then just do the rest in peppers though. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll sell these ones, sell these 10. Because we've got a good start with the seeds over there. Yeah, we've got a really good start over there. I don't think we need to do any more of those. So we got that. Oh, we need to put that sweet pea away too. Um. I'm going to keep one of those. And we didn't take this back, this up to the mine, but I think I'll just keep it in my inventory. So let's go like that. Oh, and we get one of those back down to sell. And then we're going to click that up. And click that up. Oh, it took the coal up. That's fine. I'm going to move that over. And we'll just try and get it up to the mine later. Okay. And we'll sell that, sell that, and sell that. And we'll just do peppers for what we need there. So peppers have a really good profit margin. And they basically hold your... They don't let your soil die on you. So I want to get these in. Okay, and then we need to get the watering can. We forgot to add the watering can. That's not good. We need to remember these things. Okay, so we've got our scarecrows done and we need to get watering. So I'm gonna go at the top and we're just gonna water the top. I think I should have the time to get most, if not all of them watered. We're going to at least try. Oh, we definitely need to get the melons. So I'm probably going to do the melons next. And then we'll do the, um, let's get this. I'm going to get this. And I missed it up because I'm not sure if I got that or not. So we missed the one there. Which tells me that we did probably get it. Okay, so now we need to get the melons. Let's hit the melons here. So what this really shh babes. Uh, what? Good morning. I'm breaking 
Oh, in my bed. Your blanket's not in your bed? Yeah. Oh, will you? I should be. That's where it was last night. I'm pretty sure we had it in your bed last night. Well, you can look around over out here to see if you can find it. You've looked in your room? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know where it is, babes. I promise I didn't take it. We're not going to get to be, or we're going to be able to water all of our crops, but we're going to be to bed late. Yeah. Which is a bummer. Water. Oh, maybe we won't water all our crops. Uh, we're going to crash out, aren't we? Yep. Yep. We're not going to get them all watered. Again. And we're going to crash out. Oh, bother. Okay. But we did get level 7 farming, so at least we'll be able to get our um, our energy full. Um, we got the crafting recipe for the loom and for quality retaining soil. So we're having trouble getting all of everything watered, which is a problem that we need to solve. I think what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to get it watered and eat and then and eat to actually fill my energy instead of going to the place up there. Either that or, um, or yeah, we just got to be able to move quicker is all. So not sure what we need to do, but we need to do something to get that done better. We did get 3,000 in what, with what we sold, which is awesome. So those radishes were pretty valuable. That was good. And, and then we got a little, we got the rainbow shell. That's nice too. And we did sell a few others. So the summer seeds, see they, they're worth 550, which is awesome. And you only need the three, so. I'm going to try and get as much of those as we can and get those sold just because that's really good profit. Okay, so we definitely want to try to get to the mines today. Uh, sorry for the interruption of my daughter. She She's uh, having a meltdown this morning and it's way too early to be having a meltdown. But, um... Yeah, she's just lost her blanket or she can't find her blanket and it's her special blanket that she loves and she, so, anyways, welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source of weather, news, and entertainment, and now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day, as usual. We're getting way too many sunny days. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Well, my life's already pretty difficult right now because I have way too many crops and I need to be able to get them well watered. And I'm just not getting there. But we need to try anyway. So, we're going to get them water, all watered now, right? Yeah. All right, so let's go say hi to whoever wants. Oh, they're just telling me that I got billed 201 gold for this service. Although for the medical service of being taken care of. And I got billed by Joja customer satisfaction representative. By Joja customer. Or by Joja. Which is never a good thing. But it was good to try and get everything done. Oh, we do have some crops we've got our poppies and we've got our um some of our peppers so we can take a pepper to the community center because i believe they're oh no we've already got a pepper to the community center but let's see we're gonna toss those up oh no they need to go in the other chest don't they 
So let's toss them in here. Okay. And we are gonna go and water some of the melons here. So we have got those bottom ones to come up, all except for the two we didn't get watered last night, which tells me that we're in pretty good shape. Um, I am going to harvest these and I should have kept those peppers because that means that I can put those peppers right there. But sometimes you'll wait with um, <clears throat> harvesting something like that because then you can just... Okay, because if you have... So anyway, what I'm trying to say is if you have the um, poppies there for the honey so you can put your honeys down there and then you'll get poppies uh, poppy honey but I'm not gonna worry about it we are not really in a position to do that right now we're gonna keep one more of those peppers we'll sell all of the rest um, we're just gonna sell peppers just because the money's probably worth a lot more than having like trades for um, Shane or Lewis right now. Uh, we didn't check our stuff, so let's go ahead and check it. Uh, we do have a farm fresh radish for Gus. Oh, okay, we'll accept we do have some radishes, so we'll take a radish in for Gus. Um, especially with that price, we can get a really good price on it that way. So I don't know why he's paying that much for a radish, but we're not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay. So we don't have a birthday today, so we don't have to worry about that, but we will go visit Gus. And then let's see. So um yeah, so poppies. We want to sell one, but I want to keep most of them. So I'm gonna keep those two. I'm gonna sell that one and we'll keep those two. So we'll keep those four. Actually we need one for the community center, I believe. So let's keep red ones and we'll take that one to the community center. We'll put that one in the bin to sell and then we'll sell those. And we need to check the mushroom cave. We didn't do that yesterday, so we definitely need to do that today. Okay, and we'll sell those. Um, our wheat is not done yet. Uh, we need to get our seeds back again because we've got to get those planted. Or at least five of them. We need five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just take the five and plant them. And then we will go ahead and get things watered. I think that's probably the course of action we need. Okay, so let's stick those five in. And then I'm going to continue with this and get this finished off. The watering of these. So we'll water these. Then we'll go down and water those bottom ones that are at odds. It just I just like doing the odd ones so that I don't have... So that I can gauge where I'm at and... A little easier. Okay, um, we could fill the watering can right now, and I think we're going to do so. That just makes it so that we're right on our five. Oh, and we messed it up already. Okay, well, whatever. We did try to get it perfect, and we failed. But it's hard to get things perfect. So we're going to try and get to the mines today and get five levels, of course. But whether we do so or not, I don't know. We'll try. That's the best I can do, is try. I guess we're watering tomatoes today, which is fine. I mean, we want to get our tomatoes going. So let's get some more water, water that, and finish off our blueberries because they're a pretty important crop. Our melons are also a pretty important crop. 
So that's why we try to get our melons and our blueberries and our tomatoes are fairly important, our wheat's fairly important, all of our crops are fairly important, they're just not overly important on some of them. Uh, what babes? I don't got my blanket. No, no, four. I'm sorry, I didn't understand that, babes. I don't on my bed. You, your blanket's not on your bed? Well, that's where it should be, babes. I don't know where it is if it's not on your bed. Uh, where did you put it last? Uh, is it out here somewhere? I don't know. You don't know? Me neither. I just don't know. I don't know. Do you need to look around and see if you can find it? Uh, yeah. Well, you can look around and see if you can find it. Go ahead and look around, see if you can find it. So yeah, it's pretty tragic that she's missing her blanket, but this is way too early to be up and worried and stressed like about a blanket like that. I really wish she was still in bed. That's one of the reasons that I record early in the mornings is to try and get a time when my kids are still sleeping so that I don't have interruptions from them. I mean, they're way cute, they're cool kids, but I really don't want them in my videos if I can help it. And I do have six kids, so it can get pretty crazy around my house. And so I try to keep them out of the videos, but They've been in some of the videos already, and apparently my little girl, she's going to be in this one, so I guess that's just the way it works. Oh, and we double, double did that one, but we've already got it offset by about three anyway, so we'll be three shy this one too, huh? Yep. Okay, so um, we're about where we need more energy, right? And we have three, we have one more run with, we're just gonna go ahead and finish this up. So we do wanna take, go into Gus and give him a radish. Okay, and then we can go up and see, so as close as we are, that's, the way we need to do it. We need to be able to get a full energy bar used up on these crops before we go. But we also need to be able to get some sprinklers going because if we can get some sprinklers going then we don't have to worry about this anymore. We don't have to worry about watering so much which will give us stuff to that will give us uh, energy to use on other things. So we'll keep the bus stop clean, obviously, with uh, this. Okay, so we don't have. We just had a couple of sweet peas. We could give some sweet peas to a few people, like Penny and Maru. Well, Maru, I don't know if she likes sweet peas, but we could probably give her some. And I'm just going straight for Gus because I need to get him the radish for the quest. It gives me $270. So, hey, so you saw the ad I posted. I really appreciate it. Let's see. Here's what I owe you. Okay, thanks, Gus. So, I'm probably very inconsistent with these voices as to which voice I give which person. But... Um, it's just kind of how I feel about that person that day, I guess, is to, oh, oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, and we're going to go catch Penny and give her this sweet pea. Um, no. 
And basically what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get her up. I'm trying to save money from my tutoring job, but it's hard with my mother out of work. I didn't read the first one, but we'll read that one. Okay, so yeah, I'm just trying to get Penny up to five, and I think I've probably got her there. Yeah, in fact, she's second most now. Um, it would be nice to get Maru there, but I don't know if she likes the sweet peas. Does she like them? She does like them. Okay, so we could give Maru some sweet peas. That might be a good thing to do. And that would get her up. Oh. Why does it say that I still have a quest with Gus? I don't. I don't think. Um, yeah, I don't have a quest with him anymore. Huh. Anyway, I guess it's just showing that I completed the quest. Hello there, Roach. Hello. Good to see you. All right, so we do have another sweet pea for, um, we got one for Maru and we got one or whatever else. Okay, and the poppy we need in here. And I believe it's the dye bundle. No. Nope. Um, chef's bundle. I don't know what. Oh, probably for poppy seed muffins, I guess. It's the only thing I can think of as to why you'd need a poppy, but okay. Um, fodder bundle, enchanter's bundle. Okay, so yeah, we've got a few more things that we need to get for these types of things. We do have a sunflower that we're growing. We need to get this, which we need the bridge for. And um, we got a red cabbage growing now, which is awesome. Okay, I think we've got everything that we need to get. And so we can go fill our energy bar and go mining. So, Tuesday, so she would have been working today. Um, is she on her way back up to her house? Yes, she is. So let's give her a sweet pea and say hi. This is a super gift. Thank you. Well, thank you for being so sweet. Sebastian hardly ever talks to me. I wonder if he even likes me at all. I'm sure he does. He's just um, kind of a recluse and a bit of a vampire. So, yeah, it's just his vampire ways. Now, let's get up here. We'll go in and get our energy up. So, let's go in here. We're gonna jump in and get our energy up. That's what we need to do. Always remember to stay hydrated. Okay, so we got Hmm, 270, we're almost there, and go. Okay, so we're at 7 o'clock, and that is far later than I wanted to be, but if we move quickly, we might be able to get, oh, but we are supposed to be in difficult to get land of stairs, so that's kind of a bummer, but... We'll do, what our, we'll do our best. We need to get down to gold, so we just have to do our best and try and get down there. There probably is going to be a lot of mobs, which is fine. I mean, that is a chance of getting down, too, so... We'll just have to do what we can. Um, and we can also put... some more... Of that in the furnaces. Okay, 
Okay, and then um, we do want our berries, just in, seven berries, just in case we need them. And let's go. Okay, I don't see anybody. Nope. Okay, so let's start chopping away at these rocks and get us a ladder. Okay, good. Let's go and. Oh, sweet. Okay, so get that and get that and go. We're really working to get, we need to get the gold, so it's not something that we can really lally gag around with. If we get, oh crap, that's not what we wanted, but I guess it will work. Let's kill this ghost if we can. Okay, if we get a ladder we go, but give me a ladder. Oh, we got a dwarf skull. And that ended. Nice. Oh, sweet. And go. Okay, I'm going to just grab this real quick because it's right here. And then we're going to go like this and hit them. Okay, so I'm really kind of torn. We do need the carts, so we probably need to put a gold bar in the community center with our first gold bar. But I'm kind of torn because I would almost prefer getting... Okay, so I'd almost prefer getting uh, a sprinkler with it, but we can't really do that because we need to get um, um, the mine cards done. So the first one does need to go towards the community center. We also need a fire quartz, and so the first fire quartz we need will go towards the community center. After that, we, we can start worrying about fire quartz for Gunther and whatnot. But... Oh, great. We only have one level to go, so we need to get this as quickly as we can. And this bat's going to get in the way. I'm almost to the point where I need to just ignore the bat and get the ladder. So we gotta get this ladder. Yeah, I'm not leaving until I get this ladder, even if I pass out. Hopefully I don't pass out, but oh great. Come on, just give me a ladder. Yeah, so we're probably passing out. We're probably not making it back. But if we can get this ladder, it will be worth it. Come on, tell me this is going to be the ladder. No! Come on! Yeah, we're going to pass out in the mine either way. We need this ladder, though. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's so frustrating. Uh, sometimes the game just doesn't work in your favor. And that could be rather frustrating. 
Ay. I so could have used those five levels. And I was one ladder away. One ladder away from getting there. All right, well, we only earned 654. We probably lost fairly close to that, actually, in just because we passed out. Probably lost 500, almost 600. So anyways, we did get some retaining soil, uh, quality, quality retaining soil. Um, but we probably won't use it because I don't think we can put them on the plants after we've already done it. Although, if I can put it on, we might as well. Uh, this did send us back here and our hoe got left up there because we passed out. Um, but our watering can should still be down here, so we should be okay there. We didn't get a level, so we only have half of our health or half of our energy. So we're probably going to need to actually water as much as we can and then head up and get the energy and get back to the farm as quickly as we can. Um, I don't know as if we should even go into town at all. But that will all be for next video. Um, do we still need to take this to Gunther? Yes, we do. And that's number three. Uh, I would have preferred getting number numbers one first and then because actually we're a little low for number one actually that's probably why we didn't get it but uh, the door scrolls are probably something that we'll end up having to do in year two just won't get them in year one I think we may have enough gold to get a gold bar now though well we killed those ghosts and that gave us a little bit of gold we're doing better, we're getting there, but we're not quite there yet. That's the frustrating thing about this game sometimes, is you just haven't quite got there yet. Where our earnings did get over 50,000, which is good, but I think that's been the case for a little while now. I think that was the case by the end of spring, actually, that we got that. Or pretty close, or in the first few days of summer, when we got it. I can't remember. But anyway, that has been our episode for today. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to be, so that you can be informed of when we upload more videos. Um, and leave a comment down below. Let me know how you like the video. Let me know who you think that I should marry. Whatever you think that you need to say, go ahead and say it. I can take criticism. I like criticism, actually constructive cr criticism. Now, if you're just going to call me a nerd or something, then that's not really constructive. It's not really going to do anything at, any good. So, um, or if you're going to call me any other names as well. I just use nerd because it's kind of a, a uh, kid-friendly term. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I'll see you in the next one. This has been the, th the Roach of Therosia. Goodbye.